everybody. Welcome back to the Legacy Driven Entrepreneur Community. Tonight, I want to talk to you about something that might feel a little, mm, how do I want to say this? Maybe tough to swallow, tough to hear. I've got some tough love for you guys in the community tonight. And the reason why I'm sharing it is because I actually want to see you succeed. I don't want to see you get stuck on these things. Um, and so tonight, I'm talking to you about why she is captivating and converting clients and you are not. Hello, Julie Ann Jones. I'm so glad that you've joined me for this. Um, oh, thank you. You're so beautiful too. Um, so I just want to jump right into why she's captivating and converting clients and why you are not. So I've got seven big reasons for you and some of them might trigger you a little bit. And uh, I would encourage you to consider like, maybe you need to sit with that and digest that and chew on that for a minute. So the very first reason why she's captivating and converting clients and you're not is because she's very clear on her strengths. She knows what she is good at and she knows what she is not good at. Um, one of the things that has absolutely transformed my life in 2014, I had a friend, hey, Allie, welcome. I'm so glad you joined me. Um, is I was really struggling. I was struggling with what I needed to do next in my life. I was floundering. I did not know what to do. And a coworker at the time said, pick up this book. It's called Strengths Finders 2.0 by Tom Rath. And I was like, ah, this is just another personality assessment. I don't need to take this. I know what I'm good at. I did leadership organizational theory studies. Like I minored in this stuff. Like I, I don't need this. Boy, was I wrong. I got so clear on the difference between my personality versus my strengths that it revolutionized me and sent me down this path of online entrepreneurship, coaching, um, investing in other people's businesses, highlighting their strengths. Um, and so if you are unclear about what you're really good at and what you're not really good at, and even like why we jive with certain personality types and others and, and where we find people who compliment us and help us go further faster, get this book. It's based on the Gallup poll, 13 bucks. It comes with a, a quiz. It takes about an hour. And this was the earliest, best investment I ever made in my business. And so if you're at the beginning of your journey, I would really strongly encourage you because um, it's, it's not so big as Enneagram or Myers-Briggs or things like that. This is very digestible um, and it's very helpful to just propel you down a path to get started. And what I have found in my own life to be true, in online business to be true, is that it is really attractive. When we start operating in our strengths, people wanna emulate us. They're like, I want what she has, but what they don't realize is what they want is to figure out what they're good at. Because the reason why we're attractive is because we're doing what comes natural to us. And maybe we've leaned into that a little bit further and we've developed that strength even more, but really the thing that's working for them is they're, they're clear on what they're good at and they lean into it. So that's why she's captivating, right? That's the first thing that you need to know about this other person that you're watching online that's succeeding and you're not. Okay, number two, whether you agree with this or not, she has been doing this longer than you realize. And what I mean by this is she's been doing something in her personal experience or personal education that has set her up for a little bit more success in this than what you realize. So maybe before she got into maybe online business and this, per this is the person that you're watching, um, she had sales experience at her last job or maybe she was in the marketing department in her old job or maybe she was um, in charge of making brochures or something and she picked up stuff here and there that really kind of propelled her a little bit further. And you're like, she's only been in business for six months. How is she getting booked out? She probably has other experiences, whether just in life or in a previous career, or maybe in college or her education experience that have set her up to be more successful faster. And so I always encourage my clients, never compare your behind the scenes experience to somebody else's highlight reel, right? they're sharing their successes and it's inspirational. And by all means, I believe we should celebrate and celebrate publicly. Oh, I'm so glad that this is so timely for you, Julie. Um, this was something that was just really on my heart to share today. Um, because I guess, because I've been having some conversations, but um, yeah. So 
there are women and even guys out there who've been doing something longer than you realize. And they're not necessarily sharing that part of the story up front. It might come out later, especially if they're a person of integrity, they're going to actually share what it took for them to get there. Um, so yeah, rest assured, don't, don't let that hit you sideways. Um, just, just know, like, don't compare your behind the scenes to somebody else's highlight reel. Number three, she's an action taker. Okay. She has committed to direction over perfection and she understands that she cannot turn a parked car, right? It does not matter how polished. It does not matter how pretty that car is. If it's not going to get into drive and get into gear, like it's not going to go anywhere. You got to put it in drive to go anywhere. And you got, can't be afraid of getting dents and dings and scratches on the car. And you know, I've seen people in like, Junkers and clunkers go way further than a pretty Porsche. If you're picking up what I'm putting down with this little analogy, you've got to just get moving out there. You can put the polishing tweaks on your website for days and never get a client. Okay. And as a web designer, as a, a brand specialist, I will tell you like form is not more important than function, right? That car just has to get you from point A to point B. And if it's pretty bonus, that's awesome. Okay. Number four, why she's captivating and converting clients and you're not is because she has heard no more times at the beginning of her journey than she'll probably admit to. Everybody has a learning curve. And I'll tell you something else. She's probably not just hearing no, she's probably hearing the underlying reasons of why. She's also probably doing some investigative work. Um, this is also called market research as to why things are not selling and other things are, and she's tweaking and shifting things as she's jumping on the phone with people. Um, and maybe, maybe it's not necessarily on the phone, but maybe in her marketing, maybe in her Facebook posts, are you guys tracking with me? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Like she's not just hearing no, she's hearing no and hearing why they're saying no. And she's not just going to get discouraged because someone said no, she's going to say, why, why are they saying no? Why is this not appealing to people? Is this not serving them? right? So she had a learning curve, but she leaned into it and she's heard no a lot. Um, number five, she's gotten really good at just getting visible. If you're going to captivate and convert clients, you have to get visible with what you're offering out there. And this can be a very intimidating part of the puzzle, part of the journey for a lot of people because they're not confident. They're not sure what they're good at. They're not sure how to best serve their ideal people or their dream clients. Um, but they have gotten really good at figuring out how to get in front of them and at least start hearing from them, engaging with them, connecting with them. And the reason why I say she's really good at getting visible is because I personally hate the word marketing. It just is like, ugh, like it is icky to me. I do not like it. Um, but that's what she's doing. She's marketing. She is getting seen. She is getting visible. And that's what you need to do too. And you can't be afraid of that. You can't be afraid of messing up. Remember, direction is better than perfection. You can always turn a moving car. Okay. And in that, in that same vein, she's mentally resilient. Okay. Mental resilience is something that is a learned thing. And I find that super encouraging because a lot of people, this is something that's built into them as children. Um, they learn like, this is my husband done over. Okay. So like if he was told no, as a little kid, he would be like, how can I still do this thing? How can I figure out how to get over there to those cookies? When I was told, no, I'm going to go to grandpa, right? Or I'm going to go to grandma. Like I'm going to find a way to get those cookies. And he would, he would get into the cookies. Um, but for me, I was like, oh, I was told, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that right? I was a very obedient child and not that that's a bad thing, but there are people that are just more mentally resilient than others. And some of them that's a, in them since childhood. But for others of us, this is a thing that can be learned in adulthood. And I just talked about this last week with our renew mindset challenge. If you're just tuning in about that and hearing about the renew mindset challenge, I'm going to drop the link for that below. But it's a five-day challenge, and it's a mindset practice. I actually have it up here on my wall behind me that we just implemented. In fact, Tiffany just shared about her affirmations and declarations as a part of her mindset practice in the group. If you are interested in seeing those, go ahead and scroll through and see Tiffany Breeden's um, uh, de declarations. They're powerful, powerful things, and I'm so excited about how that's going to transform her 2019. And then number seven, she has support. 
She has support in some capacity. She has sought that out through um, a book like this. She's, she's gotten support around the areas where she's weak. Um, she has invested in maybe a mastermind community. Maybe she's invested in a course. Maybe she has invested in a coach, but she has invested in herself in some capacity to get the support where, where she needs it. And everyone starts somewhere. I started with a book and that's okay. And you might start with a book. You might start with a freebie. You might start with a course. You might later invest in a mastermind because you realize like, there's something to community to be able to ask someone like, hey, can I get some feedback on this? And that's a great place to be. But at some point you realize, if I really want to go to the distance, I really need some one-to-one -one support to see these blind spots, to get some clarity around specific aspects of my business that a mastermind really just can't speak to. And then that's where coaching comes in. And a lot of women who have those seven figure multi million dollar businesses or multiple multi figure businesses, they have gotten and invested in support. And maybe at small levels, maybe for an intensive, maybe for one day, maybe for one month, maybe for six months, maybe for a year. We don't know, right? Maybe they've shared, but we, we don't know how much they've invested in themselves. But if that is something that you know you want to do and you know that like captivating and converting clients, is essential to your business succeeding in 2019, I want you to hear this. Um, I am looking to work with five women at the beginning of 2019 for six months, and I'm going to help you develop a brain that both captivates and converts either your first clients or your next clients and helps you lay that foundation that you can just wash, rinse, repeat over and over until this is just on autopilot. And then you build this part of your business and you start to scale. But it starts with that foundation. It starts with a brand that captivates and starts converting a website, all the technical pieces that come together. And so I know that there are people out there that um, are resonating with some of these things that I'm about to read. In fact, I had somebody from the my list, my, my email list, reach out and, and chat with me about some of the things that I, I, I'm about to share. And so um, if this is you, this might make sense for you to consider doing either with myself or either with somebody else who might be a better fit for you. I am pro finding a coach or mastermind group that makes sense for you and your business. If I know something doesn't make sense for me and my business, I'm not going to invest in it and neither should you. Um, but if this resonates with you, I would love for you to consider whether or not this makes sense for your business, right? So if there are people who are out there and doing something that you want to do and are charging at least twice as much as what you're charging, but you don't feel like you can raise your prices yet, at least not just not yet. You don't have enough experience yet. Like I want you to consider the six month coaching. If you started your business to make an impact, but so far you're just talking to your mom and about a hundred ish people on your email list, been there, done that, like consider investing one-to-one -one, um, with a coach, right? Um, if you know that 2019 has to be the year that it all comes together for you, otherwise you're looking at staying in your nine to five or going and finding some other work because you just haven't been able to figure out how they're doing it. Like one-to-one -one coaching might make sense for you. If you could just get people to buy your stuff, like you know you can help people, you've done it for free, but if you're just struggling to get people to buy your service or your package or your course or your offer, like maybe one-to-one -one coaching makes sense for you. Um, and if you've been around for a while and you know like I'm a Squarespace guru and you're ready to start converting for 5K months consistently and you know you need specific help around your mindset posture, like, and you know you would like to work with me and all my insider knowledge, like maybe six months one-to-one -one would be the thing that launches you in 2019. Um, if any of those things are like, yeah, I would really like to stop talking to the same 100-ish people in my mom on my email list. Like, I would like to go to that next level. I know a little bit, but I'm wasting my life on Squarespace tutorials. Like, this might make sense for you. And I would love for you to PM me and just chat about options because I believe in options. I believe that we need to invest in the things that make sense for us at our stage of life and our stage of business. And whether it makes more sense for you to buy this book, I'm going to tell you, I think you just need to start with this book. Um, but if you're at a level and I think that one-to-one -one coaching makes sense and we're a good fit, I'm going to say, Hey, maybe let's talk about this a little bit more and talk about your timeline and talk about where you'd like to be in one year in two years in six months and figure out what makes sense for you. Right. And you're going to want to talk to that, talk about those things with any coach, whether that's with me or with somebody else who you feel like might be a better fit. Um, 
I want you guys to succeed. And for those of you in this community, like I'm committed to your success. Um, and I want you to know that and truly believe that. Um, so if you guys have any questions about this, or if any of these things about why she is captivating, converting clients and you are not like if those things resonated with you and you're like, ah, oh, I need to commit to just taking action and not being such a perfectionist, or you know what? I have some things in my experience in education that I can capitalize on and set me apart as an expert. And I have been doing this longer than I've realized. Like I, I have things to pull on. Um, I chatted with a gal. She has a PhD, a PhD, and, I, and she was struggling with if she was qualified. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, you are incredibly smart and have something to offer. Um, and, and it just took somebody helping her to see outside of her box that she had something, right? And so I just wanted to leave this with you today. If you've been wondering why she's converting clients and you're not, consider some of these things, right? and build up that mental resilience, get really good at getting visible, get really clear on your strengths and you will start captivating and you will start converting clients in 2019. Those are the thoughts I wanna leave with you for tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this was really helpful for you, especially you, Julie. I know that you were, um, you said this was super timely for you. So that's it for tonight. I am for you guys. I'm excited for 2019 and I will catch you guys around here in the community. Bye guys.